God, I feel like I'm back at school in science lessons. Oh, I really, uh, really need my reading goggles. In the lab, there is a watermelon. Eat as much watermelon as possible. You have one minute. The time starts when you open the door to the lab. I'm allergic to watermelon. Josh, we're going to see you first. Are you a melon fan? Um, yeah. You know. Fine, seven out of ten. It's quite a strange question, isn't what, it? What um, you... <laughs> Let's have a look at Josh's attempt. Bearing in mind, the task is to eat as much watermelon as you can in the time allowed. Well, OK, so I'm worried I'm going to get in there and there's going to be a watermelon sitting on a table. So I need some kind of carving knife or knife. I mean, I don't know how you do better than that. I'll show you afterwards, if you like. <laughs> you know, I was impressed that you used implements, but I, I, I didn't think there was a much sense of urgency there. I've, I've seen my grandmother eating melon, and it seemed a similar sort of pace. I've seen your grandmother eating melon. You've seen my melon. grandmother eating melon, right? Yeah, yeah, well, she loved it! <laughs> you know, you were just nibbling I said, I quite like melon. There's the proof. <laughs> I thought I'd done well. I'll be honest with you, I think you've slowed down the footage. I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> no, you did all right. You ate, uh, in one minute, you ate 218 grams of watermelon. That's the equivalent of, sort of 10 mice. Can I imagine that? <laughs> like eating... That's pretty good! Yeah, it's good. It's all right. How many baked beans do you think there are in a can? In a can of baked beans? Yes. There is no way of knowing that sort of thing. There is, if you're the taskmaster. Count the beans and baked beans and the time starts now. Four, ninety-seven, four hundred and one. There are four hundred and six beans in a baked bean tin. Thanks for that, Josh. Much appreciated. <laughs> right. Did no one else do that? <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding? What? <laughs> On with the show. No. <laughs> What's the matter, mate? Are you joking? <laughs> you look like you're having a lovely time. Right. Oh, we're not getting any points for that. That's correct. <laughs> Slightly struggled with the door handle out. I wonder if that might be the task. <laughs> Big fan of tea, so this is a real boost to me. Right. Throw a tea bag into a mug from the furthest distance. You have exactly one hour. Your time starts now. Should we have a look at Josh? Yeah, let's have a look at Josh. <laughs> I would argue a mug is a receptacle larger than a cup that you drink tea out of with a handle. So if I was to drink tea out of this before the end of the hour to prove it was a mug, then I think I've got myself a mug. <laughs> I'll just attach the handle like that. So I've got two mugs there, tea bag, taped to a golf ball. Oh, God! Oh! Well, it went in, but it didn't stay in. Definitely still a mug. Yeah, of course it is. Ask me if it's a mug when we share a cup of tea out of it later on, mate. <laughs> is the handle still attached? Yes. Is it still a mug? Yes. If if he was to dispute whether it was a mug, I don't think you should dispute it's a mug, but you've got to cover yourself against these things, haven't you? <gasps> Come on! Oh! Right, tea. To prove that it is a mug, we're going to have high tea from the mug. I don't think I can imagine it's a mug until I see you. Yeah, I'm going to drink the tea. <laughs> a lovely cup. British tea. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for the tea. It's all right, mate. <laughs> lovely. I didn't get a box. He's got a, 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 a wheel. It's like a bloody B&Q warehouse when he's doing it. Josh, it's your definition of a mug, anything with a handle sellotape to it. No, my definition of a mug is someone that can't find a box in that house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Okay, here's my judgment. Uh, before we even see Tim, I'm uh, disqualifying you. Unbelievable. But I'm not disqualifying you because a wheelbarrow isn't a mug. I'm disqualifying you because you put the milk in first. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, how many spaghetti hoops are there in a can of spaghetti? <laughs> there's, there's no way of knowing that sort of thing. There's no way that anyone would know that. Count the hoops in this tin of spaghetti hoops. You've done the... Come on! Four thirty-three. Nothing if not thorough. Thanks, Josh. Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> How, in the first episode where I'm actually winning, do I feel the saddest I've ever felt? Aye, aye. Money? Oh, my word, £20. Buy the best present for the Taskmaster. Here is £20. Do you have ten weeks? Your time starts now. I think I'll look at Josh's gift next, please. Um, I've felt we've been getting on very well, Greg. Yeah, I think it's gone all right. I thought you'd worry that I'd forget you after this, so... I've got a tattoo. Well, you could have gift wrapped it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is it really? Is it? Fuck <laughs> me! How many grains of rice are there in a bag of rice? <laughs> Really? I don't know. I don't know how you would know that. There's got to be a way I can find out. I'm the taskmaster. No way. Count the grains of rice in this bag of rice. Your time starts now. 23. Well, that's five grams. How many grains? 250. So 500 is 25,000 grains. Y you feel like a loser, but then you realise you're not the one that's having to watch this five times. So I don't know who's the bigger loser out of me and you on this one. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I genuinely think I deserve a point. <laughs>